So today, people, we have updates for upcoming games. Those games being Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, as well as Sonic Frontiers. So I just want to go over my overall thoughts about these games in general, in addition to my thoughts about these specific new looks we've gotten. And we'll get right into it and we'll start with Pokemon. Let me just let it be known that I am excited for these games, Scarlet and Violet. I love Pokemon, have for a long time. I've played every single mainline game and remake and most of the spinoffs. So as a long time fan, I think these games have really good potential and uh, adding what we were shown today, they seem to be directly springboarding off of ideas that had their seeds planted in Sword and Shield. Now, listen, I know some Pokemon fans aren't prepared to hear what I'm about to say, but Pokemon Sword and Shield are incredibly underrated. They're probably in the top three best Pokemon games if we're counting them as one game, which we are because they are, but for sure, if not three, they can't be any lower than top five. They just can't be. I'm sorry. I, you know, I'm sorry if you hate Sword and Shield. I don't know what to tell you. So I think it's a natural and smart move to build and expand upon those games for Scarlet and Violet. You know, we know that these new games are going to be a more fully realized and seamless open world environment, which I hope turns out to be as good as it sounds. I honestly think the wild areas in Sword and Shield, as well as each big mission area in Legends Arceus, uh, served as practice just for this. I hope all that practice paid off, but it doesn't eliminate my worry that the old ass Nintendo Switch hardware may hold back some ambition or muck up the general stability, but we'll see. In this new video we were given, we get our first look at new Pokemon beyond the starters. We also see the legendary box art Pokemon, but if you don't count them, I think we saw three new Pokemon. They all look small, first evolution, early game Pokemon mostly. The first one we see is this little electric furry thing. I didn't really know what it was uh, in terms of what animal it may be based on at first. I wasn't sure. But the Pokemon website says it's a mouse, and it also says its name is Palmy. It's obviously an electric type, and since it has the static cheeks like Pikachu, and it's a rodent, I'm assuming this is our Pikachu for this generation. Every generation has one, you know? Plusle and Minin, Pachirisu, Emolga, Dedenne, they all have one. This seems like our one for this generation. The next new Pokemon we see is this little freak with the weird little face <laughs> and this thing is called Smoliv. Uh, not gonna lie, I kinda like this thing. <laughs> but as I said, all the new Mons uh, we saw are clearly first evolution, so we'll unfortunately have to wait to see what these things turn into. And lastly, for the new non-legendary Mons, is the one everyone is kind of fawning over right now, possibly because its name is hilarious and it's the only new Pokemon whose name we actually see in the video. It's this little pig named Lechonk. <laughs> Yo, what? They really named it Lechonk. Uh, that is the funniest shit in the universe. <laughs> but yeah. Little hog Pokemon, it's a normal type, and I'm gonna assume you'll be able to run into this thing pretty early in the game. I think of the three, the only one who might have a caveat to its ease of access is Palmy, Since it's the Pikachu and it seems like the rival has it, it might have low spawn rates in early areas or not spawn until mid game areas. I guess we'll, we'll find out, you know? Beyond that, they showed us the legendary Pokemon that would appear in each game. Uh, Koridon, the red one, will be in Scarlet, and Muridon, the purple one, will be in Violet. 
as usual, I am unsure of how to pronounce Pokemon names, so feel free to provide me with the correct pronunciation if I am saying it wrong. But yeah, these legends don't have their types displayed on the website, but they look like dragons. They're probably dragon types. They probably also each have a second typing too, but you know, who knows. Also, the red guy's got a wheel on his chest. <laughs> Purple guys got like rocket thruster legs or rocket thrusters in lieu of legs. And uh, makes me think we're gonna be riding around on these dudes. <laughs> Maybe we'll have uh, some battles as we burn up the highway on their backs. You know, some Yu-Gi-Oh 5D shit. <laughs> some Pokemon 5Ds type beat, you know? All right, all right, I'll move on. But on to what I think is the juiciest part of the showcase the inclusion of four player co-op multiplayer <laughs> is that right uh, you know i'm so confused but so happy and excited about this this is seemingly really fucking dope i was thinking like maybe the co-op will be confined to something like a wild area and that very well still can be the case but the way the wording on the Pokemon website frames it makes it seem like it's just a feature that you could just do wherever, which would be fucking crazy. I mean, of course, there would be some restrictions. There has to be some order to this. But still, if like 80 to 75 percent of the game can be spent running around in co-op, then holy fuck, that's amazing. I'm getting very excited. This shit's looking good. After the very disappointing Diamond and Pearl remakes, I need this. <laughs> Maybe it was all in the plan. You know, we had to endure the middling Ilka developed remake so Game Freak could really pour their all into this, but I guess we'll find out. So now moving on to um, other news. <laughs> we got our first gameplay look at Sonic Frontiers. And if you don't know, Sonic Frontiers is the next big Sonic the Hedgehog game, as well as Sonic's first open world outing. So Pokemon aren't the only franchise trying to realize their open world potential. But yeah, uh, you know, let's talk about this gameplay footage. Uh, I I don't I don't know what to say. <laughs> no, really, like I don't what. What is this? It's it's literally seven minutes of Sonic running around doing nothing. <laughs> I think they're trying to show off the environment and traversal, I guess. But one, the environment's pretty fucking barren. And two, we don't really need to be shown Sonic traversal. He's been doing the same exact thing for, um, let's see, what's it been? Like, um million years now <laughs> my my point is there isn't much to get excited about here this is about what i expected unfortunately they do show off some environmental puzzles and that's just not gonna hype anyone up it's just it's just not like you know nor did those puzzles look particularly engaging either so yeah it seemed like the showcaser or whoever was also going out of their way to avoid the few enemies there were. You know, not that it really matters in the long run. I mean, it's Sonic. Bros had the same one or two attacks for a millennia, and I doubt they gave him anything new and interesting now. In my opinion, it's not looking good for this game. But then again, it never was. <laughs> I mean, was anyone in the world actually expecting a good Sonic game to come out? If you were, oh, you poor, poor baby, you poor baby, you probably need a hug. Come, come on, come here. It's okay. Rest your head on my shoulder. I'll pat your back. Don't worry. I've got you. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Why would you expect that? I, I'm just glad people like Sonic's movies because it seems like his games have been shite since the Big Bang went off. So it's good that Sonic can find success and popularity somewhere because the games don't look to be getting good anytime soon. But who knows? 
maybe Frontiers will surprise me and be game of the year and be amazing and do so many great things. But, you know, I'm not going to bet the fucking farm on it right now, you know. All right. Well, there you have it. My views and thoughts on a couple of upcoming titles. Uh, you know, feel free to tell me if you're excited or disappointed with what you've seen for either game or if I'm a complete idiot and uh, Sonic Frontiers will be the best game ever made. All that's cool. Just, you know, feel free to say it. Uh, oh, you know what? Before I go, before I go real quick, jumping back to Pokemon real quick, this character here. Yeah, this one right here. I think she's your rival or whatever. Yeah, she's gonna get rule 34 hard as fuck. That's just a heads up. I'm just I'm just letting you know something. Alright? Okay, but yeah. Until next time, I am Waifu Belector. I am just a normal guy. I like hentai, and I am so sorry this is happening to Sonic fans. Goodbye. <laughs>